Okay, hi. Welcome to P- Palm City Podcast, Podcast Sussex with two pretty Ds. This is episode three. The assignment. Yes, and we are just getting off the highest of the highs. The past three, uh, was it three days? Yes. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And as a Sussex Squad member, <clears throat> I was in heaven and I still am. So, um, and I know all of you out there, uh, you know, had a really wonderful time doing this global live um, event. So we're going to kick it off with, um, we're calling this the assignment. Yes, because what does Megan always do? Understands the, the assignment. assignment. Exactly. Yeah. So, so we woke up on, I woke up on, was it Thursday? Mm-hmm. I believe so. Check Twitter and... Megan was up early. <laughs> I'm not lying. I'm tired. <laughs> and it's a good thing I kind of what I did. I'm dressed and everything. And we saw Megan and Harry at uh, in New York meeting with the governor of uh, New York and also the mayor and his family at the One World Trade Center Memorial. So that was so exciting to see them. Uh, here they are, you know, not just. Um, regular you know they're regular people but they also mix in with government government uh heads and uh in the united states and they're giving them such a, a royal welcome i know and you know it was funny how they came up with these things about oh royals don't meet with global leaders and et cetera, et cetera. but non-royals don't but right. only royals can do that remember this <laughs> Okay, if that's I, the case, what, what is, happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so here, here they are with the mayor of the uh, New York. Yeah, New York it was City. it was awesome. It's big time, and exactly. the governor, and yes. the governor, the new governor. You know, and then just paying their respects to all of those who um, in 9/11. Mm-hmm. as that memorial so it was nice to see them there right because mm-hmm. I, i'm pretty sure a lot of people from the united kingdom were also um they also perished in that uh, that that incident so um that is correct so because of it just being a global it was a global event really yeah <clears throat> so and then um one of the things we noticed is the way harry and megan are always in sync the way they stand the way they tilt their head the way they are holding their hands and um, it was just so, you know, cute to see because we hadn't seen them in such a long time. And we forgot how they're both <laughs> sync like this. Exactly. And it's just even more so now. Right. Exactly. So. <clears throat> and one of the things um, one of the squaddies did, um, you know, this make, Megan look, was looking, you know, very somber, you know, the way the color she, she wore. Mm-hmm. You know, I remember the last time Kate was there, Kate wore this fuchsia pink. Which, if you're going to a memorial where a lot of people perish, would you wear fuchsia? Hell no. Exactly. And, and <clears throat> only they, Karen would do that. Exactly. And get away with it. And the newspaper in um, in the UK were complaining about the color Megan wore, which really, if you want well, to complain first, about the they color. They were complaining that she was wearing a coat. Exactly. It's New York. It's, it's almost fall season. It's we're cold. in September. It's starting to get cold. Exactly. And then two, she's used to Cali weather. So that's like taking someone from all that nice warm heat and like, oh, no. Mm -mm." Exactly. (laughs) 20 degrees difference is a lot. Right. And we're here in Dallas. As soon as it gets 70s, we're going to be wearing puffy coats. Exactly. (laughs) And Ugg boots. (laughs) Can't wait to rock the boots. Exactly. (laughs) And uh, they also got a tour of the underground portion. Which that's the part that, you know, we don't get to see uh, that where they're actually, um, <clears throat> you see some of the artifacts and some of the things that they have down there. <clears throat> well, and they still have parts of the original um, area that were never uh, developed. So Ex- they exactly. It. So it's sort of like the basement basement. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, one of the things we could always count on is Harry and Megan that what do you call is that pda yes pda yes. pda uh, it was, it's just natural and that's good to see because that tells us that that love story that we fell in love love with you know it's it still, continues it's on continues. <laughs> i can't sing like C- celine 
<laughs> and my heart goes on. How's that going? Like, I don't know. Okay. You don't want me to sing. Okay. No. <laughs> so, yes. So all the everybody out there, find yourself a partner that looks at you mm -hmm. the that way, way that mm -hmm. Harry looks at Megan. Right. And if he doesn't, my husband is upstairs. If he doesn't, just go hit him, and he's not going to understand why he got hit. But he's <laughs> <laughs> going. Why are you punching me? Uh, Harry was looking at Megan. <laughs> Love I'm just going to be like, love it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one of the funniest things is I was on Twitter and there was this, uh, we had squatties. We had so many squatties in New York. Thank you squatties who were in New York and sending us all the pictures and sending us all your interaction. I remember one squatty said, <clears throat> uh, Megan looked at her or Harry looked at her and his eyes pierced through her soul. <laughs> She was, you know, that was it. She was, that was, it made her day. And uh, there was, I think just around this time, was, um, they also had um, the squatty that was yelling. Yeah. I love you, Megan. I love you, Harry. And really loud, Megan, Megan. And she stopped and she smiled at her and she had not kind of acknowledged, acknowledged her. her. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that the other people who are in close proximity right. uh, are going to have that on their um, <clears throat> oh, that's recorded. audio. Yes, yes. <laughs> forever. Forever. <laughs> forever and yeah. she will forever be like, oh my God, she stopped to say hi to me. Yes. yes. We've never been that close to Megan. We're trying. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Except when we went over to Stutter Island. Yes. yes. Okay. But I don't know if anybody really notices. So remember, this theme is the assignment. Right. And what I really want to let you know, folks know is, you know, as the day continued, mm -hmm. she continued to bring it. Exactly. They went back to the hotel, probably had refresh, freshen up, had a quick change, and they came out dressed success mm -hmm. this is a woman going to a business meeting a man going to a business meeting and that's how they presented themselves and they were on it they had um, not binders but they had portfolios and computers and just all their notes prepared because right. what the assignment is also about is not just the fashion that she wore mm -hmm. it's really about the purpose exactly and right? doing the work right i mean the fact that she got to meet with the united states ambassador to the united the un uh-huh and to talk about vaccine equity because i know mm -hmm. we have tons of vaccines that mm -hmm. we should be sharing with right. other uh, countries i and say I, that from being in the right. and i still think a lot of uh, people <clears throat> of color are not getting access to, to the vaccines right and i thought that the united states would go out into the neighborhoods they haven't right. but, but uh, we need to step up our game exactly and as well help out other um, countries less fortunate mm -hmm. and a lot of which just happen to be in the continent of Africa. Right. We really need to. And South sure. America who had yes. a lot of debts, a yes. lot of debts. Yes. And of course our president of course is, is um, um, uh, wait, what? the one in Brazil. Yeah, yeah I mean, exactly. Like the next Trump. And then also meeting with her, they also spoke about racial justice mm -hmm. and um, uh, vaccine equity and poverty. Yes. So they also talked about uh, you know, all the things that was really covered in uh, the Global Life Initiative. Correct. So to, to have that person at that level, that audience, you those are the things you want to bring up. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like, you know, it's not like you want to put up a, um, you know, a plaque, you know. Right. So, you know, after that meeting, they then transitioned over to meet with some other delegates with regards to public health. Mm -hmm. And in the process, some of the squatties have such CIA-like abilities. You mean the FBI or CIA? All uh, of that. NHI abilities. MI6 something. <laughs> zoomed in. Oh, I was <laughs> portfolio. <laughs> and saw. And saw. Oh, geez, Papa. I know. <laughs> and I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> it was so adorable. I know. It tells you that, you know, they're doing the work, but they take it. They don't take them, themselves too seriously. seriously. You know, like, yeah, this is us. No, I'm right. a prince, but look, who, this is what I value. Right. What, you know. And of, of course, here they are, mm. you know, meeting with uh, the leaders. Yes. Exactly. I mean, Chelsea Clinton. 
She I know. was a, an ambassador for um, public health, mm -hmm. and I didn't realize her ties to the WHO. And, right. You know, that's only because you know her mother. Yes. Had that exposure as well. Exactly. And Megan has had that those ties to the to the WHO and meeting with all those global leaders uh, and ones involved and experts, in, and scientists, experts, scientists. Yes. Uh, at the highest levels to talk about what can we do for this vaccine equity you know and uh some of the things they talked about was uh working with you know they work with public health leaders uh scientists and africa and advocates um to talk about global access to the vaccine and you know how can we make this equitable for all nations Correct. um and later on i think um megan mentioned that some countries which i didn't know could produce the vaccines Correct. for their people. So they well, probably covered all, the, yeah. Part of the work with um, the Vax Life is to get the money so they can build up the infrastructure. Exactly. To make it for themselves. Right. And and help others. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> but it was just nice to see them being represented and representing from March 12th at night. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then, you know, just having that respect and rapport. Mm -hmm. With people from, you know, it's, it wasn't like, yeah, I'm going to the World Trade Center. I'm going to meet these people. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to go into my hands empty handed. And at some point, somebody's going to ask me to open a plaque. I mean, open a curtain and it would have a little plaque saying Harry and Meghan was here. No. <laughs> Harry and Meghan didn't care if they were there. No. It, was, it was one of those. No. It was actually sitting there doing the work. It reminded me of when Jill Biden went to the UK mm -hmm. and she was sitting down with, you know, oh, people. Uh, McButtons. Yes. <laughs> and all she did Mumble. was sit down and got, and got introduced. Right. And she, Jill complained, I was ready to take notes. Poor thing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't that kind of meeting. This no. was the kind of meeting yeah. where she was about something yes. exactly and actually had a notebook and a pen and actually mm -hmm. wrote things like down wrote things down and get their point across correct yeah because at yeah at that level you have that level of influence you want to get your point across so. exactly uh, i really and, appreciate seeing that well what's nice though is you know i know megan you know probably went back to the hotel mm -hmm. but harry continued on later that day right and he mm -hmm. met with the president of Angola. Uh, of Angola. Uh, Harry is the president of the African Parks. Yes. And as such, you know, it's, it's perfectly normal for him to meet with um, this head of state, yep. this dignitary, this head of state. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter what the uh, the British media say or the royal uh, family say. It's like this this man still have this clout. He still have this access and even if he wasn't head of the the parks i'm pretty sure they would say oh prince harry want to meet with you they'd say no, okay no, no, fine no, it's not prince harry it's not i can't pronounce it in their language but it's king harry <laughs> they oh, had yes <laughs> yes right they this promoted is, yes prince harry, to harry got king. a new job he got another job well he had this job but it just got elevated to the next level so I he know. got a promotion <laughs> <laughs> so what that really means is if Harry's King Harry, uh -huh. our little Archie is now a prince. prince. <laughs> <laughs> that is so. That was so funny when they did when they did that. It's sort of like that other country uh -huh. when Harry and Meghan went and they um, then they tag Kensington Palace. <laughs> That's what they, what's okay. the one? Yes, yes. Oh, okay, we're yes. This. Accidentally, and he corrected the president of Angola, the Embassy of Angola. Uh huh. They did update. The tweet to mm -hmm. say nope, uh, our troll foundation. I know because <laughs> there was a squatty who came out and said no, 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 that's not right. I know Kensington Palace is black, by Felicia. But you know, I'm glad they did that because yes. they saw it. They saw where he was promoted, <laughs> <laughs> and they saw he was. Oh no, he got six jobs. How the man got six jobs? Now? <laughs> is it six? No, I'm, let's let's go back and. It's not just three. <laughs> it's like the ten. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> But yes, no, that was, it, it was exciting to see that. To see that, work. yeah, and see him recognized and honored at that level and seeing, seeing them doing the work. Right. Um, because, uh, I'm going to tell you, if no one does the work like Harry and Meghan, and it's like, they, do they really have to? No. No. They don't have to, but they're putting themselves out there. They're working hard, making contacts. Um, you know, when we're not seeing them, what they're doing in the background is phenomenal. 
I mean, beyond phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And then we get blessed with just some awesomeness. So mm -hmm. literally the next day I'm thinking, okay, that's kind of it until the concert. Right. And then we get this. Yeah. But we were up on time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and reached out and was like, "Wake up! <laughs> you need to see this." And I said, "What?" I said, "The Duchess of Sussex invented red." I think it's maroon. I think it's red. It's maroon. But she, <laughs> we agree to disagree. We let the squad correct us on on well, what's Well, somebody said cranberry red. So cranberry that's like red. a happy. Medium. Okay. Good. You know, we could do that. Yeah. We could do it. But I love that outfit. I know. I know. Just everything about it. Just yeah. look the shoes. I wish I could wear it. Shoes. I know. Even the pattern of the suede. It's oh, like monochrome. Gosh. Yes. And but on the next level. On the next level, yeah. I mean, and then when she's going up to the school. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. like you under she understood the assignment. It's a cherry color, bright, um, you know, she's happy, cheerful. very yeah. cheerful. And she's going to be meeting with kids. Yeah, so I think that was, you know, I think that's awesome. Well, not just meeting with kids. She mm -hmm. read to the kids. Mm -hmm. read. She was able to read The Bench, mm -hmm. her book, her bestseller. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about you, but some of the photos that they captured, this one here in particular, mm -hmm. this little girl is just so enamored. I know. That would be all of this. I know that she's, was me. Yeah. I would have been like, oh my yeah. God. She's and reading to me. I me know. and me alone, even if it's a lot of people in that. Well, this is actually the first time she's ever read uh -huh. outside of um, Archie and Lilibet. Oh, okay. So she's reading, you know, first time to other kids. So it's yeah, cute. so that's cute. And <laughs> look what page. I know she's the book uh, she had open to the bench, and um, you know I think the kids were very appreciative. But one of the things I couldn't understand is. How did they know she was coming? They didn't know she was coming, so it was a surprise for the children, right? Correct. But they had prepared some stuff for her. Were they thinking, okay, we're going to prepare this for the Duchess of Sussex. I'm going to send it to her. Because every kid wrote like um, a heart on, uh, on a heart-shaped piece of paper, like a, like a valentine, and they were sending her, um, I guess, sending her a message. Yes. So maybe they didn't know. Maybe well, they thought think, they would mail it to her. Well, and then when she know. showed up, it was just a surprise. Well, I think the teachers were probably like, hey, you know, let's write a letter to the Duke and Duchess. Mm -hmm. um, you know, other people have taped, done that with their classes. And, you know, the kids won't think anything of it. Exactly. And so they made it. But then to have them show up. I know. And be there and just like go bananas. Right. Before. And no leaks. I not know. one leak and no the one knew part. they were going there no yeah and what was nice that um you know not only did she take all of their cue cards but she also read let me shout and said all of their names and reached right. out to them and saying thank you for sharing your story mm -hmm. so i was just like oh my god i know the it's importance in uh, what she placed on each children child mm -hmm. was you know is um beyond words now there is one thing that i don't know if you noticed and if we circle back to you know her reading the book mm -hmm. and reading the bench and you know there was that special page she had paused mm -hmm. where it was representing harry and archie on the right bench. i recognize that harry was in the audience with her oh yes he was in the audience but not just anywhere is it because he was a, a concern about her security why he, he stayed so close but yeah harry was up front <laughs> Sure, is that what we're calling it now? <laughs> no, he's up there blocking other little kids. They can't see. And now it's like, oh my goodness. Yeah. Why is he up front and in front of everybody? Like a little child in class. <laughs> I know. Yes. I want to sit up front and want to be up front. I know. I want to be why those little girls were messing with him. I know. I want to be Cheech's pet. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, once it would tap him on the yes. back. It's like we had some pictures we're like yeah <laughs> you see her every day i know right? i know yeah <laughs> get back yes but nope mm -mm. right up front like that's my boo i so, know exactly <laughs> very supportive yes yeah that was awesome just seeing that interaction with them and the, and the children in the class yeah that was excellent and then they um for pictures one of the things that they were doing 
because of the COVID, personally, right. I, I was like concerned for Megan. Mm -hmm. I was like, all these kids were like all over Megan. Yes. And I was like, oh no, she has to go home to her kids. But, you know, and because they haven't been inoculated, you know, Harry's being silly, you know, being silly Harry and everything. But, um, you know, they're posing for pictures, they're doing all these different things. And um, um, I thought that, well, she never took off her mask and no. their kids never took off their mask. And they're outside. And they're outside, which but is have, good. But have you noticed though, one thing for sure about everything? The, the, the whole day? Yes. Oh, it was a beautiful day. I know. It reminded me of their wedding. It was the same oh, yes. The sky, no clouds. Exactly. Perfect. Yeah. Yes, and this picture perfectly encapsulates with the sky in the background. I'm sorry, I had to highlight that part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, it was like their wedding. It was. It was a nice day. It probably started off cool, like every day in New York, right? And especially with those high buildings, it's normally cooler mm -hmm. at at, gra at um, the so lower the, levels. The lower yeah. levels, so yeah. But um, she was trying. Everybody bum rushed her, and Harry was, you know, uh, to hug, to talk to her, and to meet with her, and all the girls. I'm sure they were also uh, enamored yes. and also uh, lifted up by Megan, having yes. you know, she'll be the you know, role, she's a role model you know for the kids so i thought that was excellent and harry was trying to do the fist bump yeah he was trying to be really safe because you know he he's been vaccinated he's negative i'm sure they test negative yes they test themselves quite frequently but the kids haven't been inoculated right you know until they get vaccinated the i meant yeah, yeah until they're is it 12 and up yeah. yeah so they could have me carrying some form of the virus you right. know and and upset you know you know um, caused some problems. But one of the big things about mm -hmm. the visit was really touching is the uh, dedication to all of what they do. It's not mm -hmm. about just I show up and look pretty. Right. It's really about something. Right. Oh yeah. And um, they donated washing machines. Mm -hmm. They donated um, Procter & Gamble products. To all their families. To all their families. Um, and is it Procter and also um, a reading notes, like reading notes to all of the different um, throughout their school district, which is pretty large. The New York uh, City uh, school district is the largest school district in our country. Mm -hmm. And um, the fact that they supplied each of those schools with a reading nook with books as right. well mm -hmm. is that's a lot. Yes, that's, that's a lot. Exactly. So that's putting, you know, mm -hmm. the true. Right promotion of literacy mm -hmm. and then also the the vegetable bins that yeah. they're adding to the schools they must have called ahead and or maybe they just decided ahead hey this is what we want to do we want the kids eating healthy we want to ha have them eating healthy right. foods as opposed to what they serve in schools you know which is the frozen crap so they, they donated vegetable bins um i did say the washer and dryer right yes for, for the uniforms, uniforms and yes, stuff yes and, and then just um, all the essentials like the cleaning products and different things right. that you would need mm -hmm. to be able to one mm -hmm. handle a damn pandemic right because our local governments are not providing the local schools with what they need exactly Harry and megan stepped in so I, I think this is wonderful and one of the things i thought was really funny um, was Megan showing up? Um, I, I guess at some point Megan was like, oh, "I'm tired. This is it. You know, I'm not accustomed to this body." And uh, she just gave birth to Lily what three months ago, mm -hmm. and she was like, "Okay, I'm putting my hands in my pocket and I'm just stretching." And <laughs> <laughs> is that what we're calling it? I don't know. But this is because you've been there. You've had that moment. Yes, but everybody on Twitter were like. Someone said, oh my God, I think, is that Megan the Stallion? I didn't know who it was. Hey, <laughs> was it if Megan? so, nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was it Megan the Stallion or was yes, it just Megan? Yes. But she, 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 she has the breast I know, and right? Has, and the yeah. hips. And, yes, the, the, and the thighs. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, Harry's having, Harry's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the hostage program is still going forward. Yes. <laughs> Keep this in mind if she doesn't lose the weight. Right, right away because no. some women like they starve themselves and they want to lose go back to their perfect bodies or have 
they have don't they have like liposuction to suck some and of that you saw what happened to some of those folks yeah that, so know. that it looks like they never had a baby yeah but that's not healthy for the baby either yeah yeah oh, and oh, health or oh, yeah. healthy for your body well, you see that stance megan's doing right there? <laughs> that yeah. don't make no goddamn sense i'm gonna <laughs> stand right here and just relax for a moment <laughs> oh yeah, no, 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 yeah it's gonna come off when it comes off exactly <laughs> it took me 10 years but maybe i'm good <laughs> i'm good that's the i'm good look <laughs> And these shoes might be killing me a little bit, but I'm exactly. Manolos, so it's okay. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I absolutely love her. So yeah. then later on, they went to Melba's, which was also a surprise for everyone who happened to be in lunch in town. Mm. So I don't What's know. What's that other restaurant that we went to? Um, in Harlem, right off 125th, Sylvia's? Yeah, mm -hmm. we took some visitors. Uh, to the U.S. to Sylvia's. Yes. We said, okay, this is the place you have to be in. We rode the metro. Um, they, uh, they, the, the, that's not what they call it, right? The metro? No, they call it the subway. Yeah, the subway. We rode the subway mm -hmm. and we went to um, Sylvia's. It was an awesome time because I know a lot of people rate it. I've never heard about Melba's before. So Melba's is, is uh, pretty well known in the area. Mm -hmm. um, the one thing, though, is during the um, COVID crisis, the one thing that she, Melba did do was convert her restaurant to make sure that families were still fed. Oh, okay. Right? And that she could keep her workers still working. So mm -hmm. she started making to-go kits oh. and then would supply to the hospitals and, and stuff like that. So that's what kept her brought, you know, Hook. above water. Oh, okay. But, you know... The fact that she made it through this far mm -hmm. is, you know, amazing. But, you know, the fact that, you know, the Duke and Duchess also donated towards her Learned support. about that. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't know if she got a PPP loan. Those trifling, you know. Yeah. But, yeah. But I see, you know, based on her restaurant, the style of restaurant, it kind of, it's kind of modern. <clears> and <throat> it and the rest of the menus look kind of, um, it's not overdone. It's not like you get a big plate and... Not that I say, oh, you know, anybody else does this, but you get a big plate and so much macaroni and cheese, so much <laughs> collard greens. You know, you know what you do at home at Christmas time? No, it wasn't like that. Christmas it, time. It, <laughs> <laughs> well, on Sundays. Thanksgiving, Sundays. Yeah. Yes. It's yes. like, it yes. was like small, petite, beautifully presented portions. Not small, normal people portions. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you're right. Normal people portions. Those wings were big. They were big. That would fill me up. Yeah, that yeah. And, that were, and, and that's enough. That's all you need. You don't need a whole bowl of colored greens. No, but no. I'm glad someone did, you know, kind of question Harry. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> On Twitter, they said, Prince Harry said, oh, Melba's. Melba's yeah. congratulated, thanked them for coming by and said, she asked him how he liked the waffles and chicken. And he said it was delicious. Well, here's the thing mm -hmm. he's got Archie's chicken. And, and you think they making waffles? <laughs> chicken and waffles. You think they're harvesting the chicken? <laughs> well, now they might be. They might be. <laughs> but he, she said, I guess she wanted to know if he's ever had colored greens before, right? Because she probably didn't think Megan cooked it or anybody enough to cook it. When they first started dating, mm -hmm. what did Harry like about Megan? She can cook exactly. Yeah. And, and Harry said, oh, my mother-in-law cooks it for us all the time. What so, he was really saying is, <laughs> I don't want to get nixed from the barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to say that my mother-in-law's is the best. However, something tells me I know Doria can throw down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He didn't say his mother-in-law's was the best or, or Melba's was the best. He said, oh, we get it from my mother-in-law's. I'm pretty sure it's good. Oh, I know it's good. Yeah, it's, yeah. You know it's good. Yeah, and he wasn't getting ready to get um, cut off. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's probably going to listen to or see some of the stuff and say, did you hear what Harry said? I know, right? Your colored greens is not as good as smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, I ain't going out no, like that. Exactly. I can't go out like that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Next thing she comes, she has some for Megan, yes. she has some for Archie, a little bit is a little bit too young, and then there's some for her, and Harry's watching. It's like, where's mine? It's like, oh, Melba's. Um, oh, Melba's better. <laughs> <laughs> you better go to Melba's. <laughs> Let her hook you up. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, so with all of this, just, just blessings. I'm just going to call it blessings. Yes. Day one, day two. Day three, 
Exactly. The mission continues. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it is still about business. It is about making sure that, you know, right now, COVID is still the biggest thing Mm -hmm. globally that is impacting all of our lives. So um, they go to the United Nations. Mm -hmm. And then they... um, And to really, uh, to get those countries on board. Right. It's like, you know, this is what we have to do. We have to make sure everybody's vaccinated. Because let me tell you, everybody out there, um, I'm tired. Yeah. And, and Megan said it too later on. She said, you know, I, you know, we're all tired of this. And we can't just say, yeah, I'm tired. I'm going out and just living my life. As, no, you can't. You're going to die. Correct. Or you're going to get sick. And based on what everybody is saying, this disease is so horrible horrible that it's worse than the flu and i've had the not really the flu but i've had a really bad cold or sinus infection and i felt like yeah just leave me here i want to die but (laughs) but imagine getting that no i don't want to get that no no you don't beyond that i want to travel yes you know i want to we haven't been on vacation no I know we, we have, haven't been to the islands. What is wrong with us? I know we haven't been to the beaches. I can't see the sun. No, I think I'm becoming light skinned at it. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she is really. She is really. I've never seen her this faded before. Well, when she was younger, and every time she'd go out to the sun, she'd come back a little darker, and then she'd fade a little bit in the summer. Because that's how black people do. Right. So black, but she has not gotten darker and she needs she needs the sun. So we need to go to the islands. We need to go to Africa. We need to go anywhere. <laughs> we have in, uh, I want to go out in Dallas to a restaurant and go eat on a balcony for right now. I'm not mm-hmm. going to eat inside. Mm-hmm. And feel safe that the people next to me are vaccinated. Right. You know? I mean, I know they're meeting with the deputy secretary, uh, deputy, deputy secretary general, mm-hmm. and they're in masks in close proximity. But some, mm-hmm. they're all, you know, the lady and, and Harry are both uh, vaccinated. I don't know if Megan is. Right. She's Me- pregnant at the time. But she, but it's, but I'm pretty sure she was because I hope she was because yeah. she could pass the antibodies onto her child, mm-hmm. and they said that. Um, pregnant women could could have gotten vaccinated so and the vaccine was available at that time right so you know we want to travel we want to see places go some of the places that we've you know we have a list and agenda all the islands we want to see all the countries we want to see mm-hmm. i mean we want to go to invictus games and yes. is it going to be in belgium i thought it was the netherlands the netherlands yeah. we want to go there yes and we don't we want to we also want to go to africa we have an africa tour yes. uh, signed up to, for and uh, we might have to cancel that because we want people to be vaccinated we want to start touring africa we want to see people's faces and not have to just elbow bump all the time exactly but even if we have to elbow bump i want it to be safe enough to travel right and to me it's not there yet and um i'm pretty sure the airline workers and the travel in- industry is doing pretty bad right now right you know? But until everybody's vaccinated, every country has access to the vaccine, it's life as, as usual. It's not going to come back anytime soon. No. Yeah. <clears throat> so, you know, with that being said, then, for the, the, the best of the best, shall no. we say later on that day? Oh, yeah. Later on that day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We were so tired because we were Twittering. Tweeting. Tweeting. And then we were watching the live stream and we realized the concert was out of sequence with the live stream. Hold on. But hold on. This is. And then we, um, okay. We came up, we saw Megan and Harry enter. Right. And she was dressed in a beautiful black and scarf and a pocketbook. And I can't afford the pocketbook. It's five five K, but that's okay. I'm going to pretend I loan that pocketbook to Megan and sh- that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not like I'm too poor to afford the <laughs> We can share your, your we can share Lady Dior. My bag. Lady Dior. Bag. <laughs> and that bag, yes. Diana had a black bag. Yes. And that bag was made 
by Dior and the name of it is the Diana bag. Yes, because she wore, she had it, you know, on all these different events and it just became synonymous with her. Yeah. So they named it after her because it didn't have a name originally. Mm -hmm. So now it's the Lady Diana bag. I know. And it, it's a black and it's fabric. Yes. You could get other Christian Dior bags that's with the same style in, I guess, leather and yes. different colors. But I don't want that. I would want the, the, the same Lady thing. Diana bag. And I'm pretty sure based on the fact that everybody's trying to bite right now the price it's not gonna come down you never do these things go on sale <laughs> <laughs> moving on <laughs> um, yeah so about Fax life we watched the concert it was awesome yes and you know just the different musical artists oh, from yeah. the different countries i think by far though uh -huh. what stood out the most to me was in the amazon yes their music was so beautiful beautiful and the stage was actually right on the Amazon River. Exactly. So they were literally floating down the river, the river. and playing the music and in the Amazon. Yeah. And, and everybody know what's going on in the Amazon. It's like a lot of companies are cutting down trees, which we need the trees to prevent global the climate crisis from worsening. Right. But they're cutting down trees for um, animal uh, um, industry right. to have more calves, and you know, and if you you know, look, do some little bit research that we did and you'd find out how much water it takes a, one cow needs a day. And you have people across the globe that are, can't have access, can't to have access to water. I don't want to say can't, can't does not, doesn't have, not have access to water. And right. we're, we're cutting down trees to, to cows and yeah, the no. way they harvest the cows, the way they have well, them. the way they're harvesting these forests, and that's our lungs. Yes, exactly. Right. right. And, and what they're doing to the animals is pure oh, no, it's cruelty. Disgusting. It's disgusting. Yeah. yeah. So, but we want to. We we don't want to go there with you. Uh, you but know, we just will gonna... go there. I, I know. Notice Emma is ignoring the fact that um, if you guys notice on the stage, there was one of the artists that actually came out and did um, a rap in their native language. I did not know people in the Amazon were doing rap. Exactly. Well, you know, it's global. Yeah. yeah. Music is international. And he was universal. really handsome. And she has found my betrothed. I told her that <laughs> she has a better chance with him than Prince Harry's already married. Leave him alone and I would cut her legs off really? for messing with Megan's this is husband. The same word. <laughs> no. 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 I don't want you anywhere near Prince Harry. <laughs> Except to shake his hand, I will get a hug because I'm older. <laughs> I'm, I'm respectful. I get a hug from Megan. Right. But yeah, yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You and all the some of the squatters who are like saying a whole lot of things. Yeah. I'll find other bowls for those guys. But um, I like him. He was so nice. Yes. And, and I loved his rapping. I couldn't understand what he was saying. But well, what's funny is you actually good thing you reached out to the squad and on Twitter, and someone responded and actually sent the contact info. So exactly, and I went on his YouTube and I and I, I messaged him and I told him I really like his music. I really like. He's all about demarcation of the lands. Correct. He's stealing the land from the uh, native people in the Amazon. Yes. And a lot of the African uh, diaspora who were taken there to work. Yes. <clears throat> so, but, and oh, BT, um, BTS. BTS is that they have an army. You're going to join the army? Yes, we um, did. I thought I am in the army. Isn't okay. it just automatic? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you have to is it because I speak Korean? Yeah. Oh, they were really, yeah. <laughs> it's, and then I say, oh, yes. But they were really good. And yes. But let's just say, I'm just going to make sure everybody realizes and recognizes and appreciates their influence from michael jackson yeah even the i post. was getting those michael jackson vibes i know even the jackson five vibes yeah like doing the whole dance move yeah and yeah so yeah and you were dancing badly i, I no dancing not badly it was good it was no, good i was doing the thriller version of their songs okay <laughs> Moving on, <laughs> moving on. Um, but yes, the concert continued, and then there was a, a good segment in P Paris, Paris. Right. Yes, Paris really brought it. They really had some really good celebrities, uh, and we watched all of them. We were waiting and waiting and waiting because we had no choice. We were we were sleepy, we were tired. <laughs> but, but it was full. But it was twenty four hours. Yes, twenty four hour concert. So, yeah. 
Okay. But we thought Megan and Harry would be on oh, earlier. Oh, and you wanted to take a nap. And I said, no, don't nap because oh, I can't wait. get to you to wake you up. Huh? Wait, why'd you make that face? What face? <laughs> <laughs> so finally, finally, we get blessed yeah. with the announcement. And the one thing, though, was neat was um, we're, we're on Twitter and then we're also on um the live stream live right. stream watching it and um it was a little bit of a delay mm -hmm. so it was just like what the heck what's going on why are they why are they seeing that before we get to see that i know did we <laughs> miss something yeah we were like panicking it was like a no. big panic and there she is looking and then the, the squad told us it was delayed yes. thank god yes so we could continue to tweet and be you know on you know everything that we were seeing and hearing the squaddies um put out their videos and screaming and oh, there was a lot of squaddies in New York. Heck yeah! And all the videos that were there was sending. Like, thank I you, the snaps. I know. Thank you so much for sending us all of that content. You know, we mm -hmm. were we were right there with you. Well, not quite. We were kind of jealous, but <laughs> 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 we're glad you got us so rich. I know, but then to hear the crowd screaming, screaming. yes, right? when they came when they came on, we just. We, okay, we by Twitter, Twitter and, and we just watch. focus on the live stream. Yes. Yes. And then, okay, and he was like, my wife and I and everybody just literally screamed. <laughs> it was kind of embarrassing for the other performers. They didn't get a... <laughs> <laughs> it. It was like, <laughs> they didn't get a, as warm a welcome as Megan and Harry just as they walked on stage. I know, right? And but, I did not expect the white dress. No. No. No, the I, white dress was beautiful. It was beautiful. And her proportions, I like that it was a mini dress. And I love the flowers on it because isn't that what Doria, were they a specific flower? I don't know if they're lilies or not, but. Um, they were beautiful. They were gorgeous. And I swore they had blue and pink uh accents to them you think so yeah or maybe well, i was I mean, just capturing the light i don't well, know but it looked beautiful and but it was beautiful. i mean even when she was speaking out it exactly was just like yeah mesmerizing and oh my god yeah this photo yeah of megan just in that moment yeah she all the, really knows all the photos do. yeah that we saw of her no but i always see her always taking in the moment yes like always trying to be present yes and this was kind of capturing oh yeah that, and that's the way she, you should be and she was yeah. and the, the both of them i really love you know what they both had to say yeah. um you know what harry had to say about why we were here and and why you know megan also spoke mm -hmm. you know about you know why we're all here and what we need to do and then when he said my wife and i okay harry you can't say my wife and i you're going to hurt people <laughs> you mean like I you did started, back in the day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I started to scream. I wasn't at this concert, but I was screaming so loud. I think I hurt my voice. I can't do that anymore. No, I think we all did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then when he kind of hugged her and she leaned, that was a oh, lean. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes, that was yes, a lean. Yes, that was a good lean. Yeah, it was just so beautiful. And we could hear the crowd going crazy, just like the... The people on Twitter told us what happened. Yeah, they were just awesome. Well, then I feel bad for anybody <laughs> following that. Oh, yeah. But, but can we just say? We don't care. Uh, no. Uh, Megan got some badunkadunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Harry's uh, always checking out. I know. That's why your hair is always like, on protocol. Yeah, uh, what yeah. are you looking at? Yep. What are you looking at? Yep. You know, it's like, yes. Lily, I don't know. Maybe it's uh, a daughter having a daughter versus a son no i don't remember her wearing a dress after archie i can't so i can't compare, compare the two uh, the two but yeah lily a uh, girl yeah the girl put the hips on makeup mm -hmm. but she was looking beautiful she was looking absolutely beautiful and that is a valentino dress yes yep so i think it's on sale um <laughs> <laughs> No, it's for sale. For sale. No, it's for purchase. Oh, it's for purchase. But yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, somebody's not getting that for Christmas. No, no. But okay, 
let's just talk about Harry having a fanboy moment. He at least enjoyed. They at least enjoyed themselves, yes. right? I think they mm-hmm. had a date night, mm-hmm. and he got to meet up with uh, the Kembe Mutombo, mm-hmm. who uh, used to play for the NBA here in the U.S. Um, and you know he's native from the Congo, and uh, just just so everyone knows, mm-hmm. I also too had a chance to meet Mukembe Mutombo at President Barack Obama's inaugural, his second inauguration. I was there and he was there. Yeah, we were there at the ball. And oh my God, it was amazing. Mm. But okay, if you notice, look how tall he is with Harry. You think he's bending down a little bit with Harry? No, Harry's a tall man. No, he's very tall. And, so um, Harry goes up to his neck. <laughs> yes. And the other D is below his <laughs> shoulder about eight inches. Yeah, yeah. And I'm wearing four inch heels. I'm wearing four inch I'm heels. I'm wearing four inch heels and I'm still that short. Yeah. <laughs> so imagine if you were taking a picture next to Harry. You'd be at Harry's chest. Maybe a little bit above his belly button. <laughs> You might want to go wear stilts and yeah, cover it up See, somehow. Now and, I know why Megan's always rocking those manolos. Yeah, but that was great. You know, know. Say, so that means that you and I are one degree of separation right. from Prince Harry. Right. Because I also have a picture uh, with Mr. Matumbo, but somebody didn't put it up there. But that's okay. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but you know, it was great to to see them having you know a good time, but then also really appreciating their team mm-hmm. and just bring just them. just bringing it. And I think the message, the message is that Harry and Megan shared above you know you know all the um, the people the the the, the people that, that were singing and the famous people that were around them. They gave us some information that we didn't have before. They said. There are countries out there who can produce the vaccine. Yes. Who are ready to produce the vaccine. Uh, uh, they need the recipe. The recipe. There's some who also need the technology so that, that they could duplicate the technology and the recipe and then, you know, be able to vaccinate their people. Right. And we, as the Sussex Squad, I think we need to, um, you know, not only get our pe- people in our country vaccinated, and try to educate them. You know, this is not a political thing. No, this you is know. about uh, public health. Is, this is, is a, a public a health thing. thing. Exactly. Yes. And we now need to get, I mean, we can't have half the population of the world just fall off uh, the earth, um, you know, for just because, and where we, 